In this video, I'd like us to automatically transcribe, subtitle, and voice over our audio using Maestra Transcription Service. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing. Now, I was browsing on the internet and bumped into this particular website, uh, calling itself maestrasuite.com, and I noticed that they automatically transcribe audio, subtitle it, and the part that got me interested is the voiceover part. And at the time of recording this video, this particular pitch to text application supports English, French, Spanish, German, and other 50 plus languages. So as is normal on this channel, what I'm going to do is I'll check out uh, what we have just right off the bat. It's a transcription software, that's super fast. It can also subtitle and uh, generate captions for our videos. And it also has the option to automatically voice over our content. So I'm hoping that we'll get to test that out in this video. So if that is something that you're into, kindly stick around and I'll start off with a free account. Uh, but uh, right off the bat, why do all this? Why have automatic transcriptions, uh, captions and voiceovers? Mostly it's about accessibility. And according to them, and I'm sure this is just based on statistics uh, by research institutes, 80% of consumers are more likely to watch entire videos when captions are available, 15% more shares when videos have subtitles, and 135% greater organic reach for Facebook videos with captions. Finally, 60% of non-English viewers watch YouTube, and uh, that is non-English speakers are uh, YouTube speakers. So potentially it's clear that most of the people that watch YouTube are actually outside English speaking countries. So that's uh, really, really awesome if you can do that. And uh, we can just say 85% of Facebook videos are watched on mute. And that's that's clear. So without uh, going uh, into too much detail, let's just check out on the pricing. Uh, because pricing is important. If you decide uh, to get into this, then you need to know how much you go it's going to be costing you. So uh, I feel that the pricing is quite affordable. For five hours per month, uh, you get uh, twenty nine uh, at twenty nine dollars per month, and you can switch or cancel at any time. Create public uh, transcription, ban subtitles into video, generate one hundred and fifty plus unique voices, auto translate to fifty plus languages, create teams and channels, live support. Uh, this goes for the others, uh, but now it's what changes is the hours you can transcribe per month and the pricing. And if you need anything that to be uh, customized for you, uh, you can always get into the enterprise plan. And you can also check out the pay-as-you-go pricing uh, that they have uh, indicated here for one hour, cost you ten dollars. Uh, the more the hours you add, uh, the less it gets. Uh, but as always, before enrolling or uh, purchasing any application that you've not yet reviewed, it's always important you just get started for free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sign up uh, for an account. Uh, it's okay to send me emails about Maestra. Just click on register. And once you register, uh, you'll get uh, this notification. I can just save my password. Uh, please click on the link uh, in the email to activate your account. And just uh, click on it. And there we go. So this more or less is like what we had with Happy Scribe, uh, but let's just check it, check it out. So how are you planning to use Maestra? Uh, this is basically for them to be able to curate how you use it. Uh, let's say you want it for transcription. You want to turn your videos and audio into text. Caption your videos automatically into English or foreign languages. Voice over. Dub your videos automatically into English or foreign languages. I'm really looking forward to testing this out. If you don't know what you want to use it for, Remember, there's an option to always say, I don't know yet. But let's say we want to use it for transcription. Let's just click on that. Now, there's this particular sample transcription that is finished. Uh, but basically, there's transcription, there's subtitle, there's voiceover. What I need to do here is just start out a new transcription. Just click on new transcription. So I'll just drop a file here and select the language the file is in. Uh, and let's see what happens. Let's open the folder with the sample I want to use. And uh, let's just drag and drop it here. It's just a small file, a very short file. I think about 20 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. 
and the reason why I want us to test this and uh, this is uh, American English I want to test and see how it performs uh, it's completed uploading next up we'll need to select the audio language uh, since it's in English we'll just select that uh, most used languages but you can just uh, scroll down to see if your language is supported in here uh, I've actually seen the support Swahili Kenya that's pretty awesome and that's why I mentioned that it almost looks like happy scribe uh, so let's say English and then just click on submit so what happens now is that uh, it starts to automatically transcribe our audio so we can see it's transcribing in real time and it's done that's pretty fast Ho. Oh. Let's just open the transcript and listen through. Hmm. Let's just listen. Uh, let's play. Hello there. Welcome to Lesson 4A, Medicare Supplement Plans, also known as Medigap Plans. In this lesson, we will review the basics of Medigap Plans that you learned today in class. At the end of our course, there will be a short quiz. Are you ready? Great. Let's get started. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so we can start off. Hello there. Welcome to lesson 4A. It should be 4. Uh, should be 4. Or even the number 4. 4A. It should be like 4A. 4A. Medicare supplement plans, also known as Medigap plans. And then we need a full stop here. Uh, just like uh, in this lesson. And then we do a comma here. Comma. Uh, I wish it would uh, automatically adjust uh, the W to a small W. In this lesson, we will review the basics of Medigap plans that you learned today in class. Then full stop. I wish it just punctuated uh, once we do the full stop. At the end of our course, there will be a short quiz. Are you ready? Great. Let's get started. I feel that uh, this is just okay. It's pretty quick, pretty simple for a 20 second clip. You just blaze through it. So. That's how it looks like. And it's awesome. I think I already like it. I think I'll need to have to test it using a Swahili transcript. Uh, let's say once you're done, once you've done all the edits that you wanted to make to the particular transcript, then you can either decide to share. And if you click on share, uh, then uh, you can either turn it on, uh, add people to it, uh, whatever you want to do. Let's just cancel that. Let's say we want to export. The options available to export include a text, doc, or PDF. Include timestamps, include speaker tags. That's awesome. Let's say we select, let's say a text. So it's going to generate uh, the particular export for us. And if you click on it, and then it's going to export uh, into a text file, uh, just right into your browser. So there is the text file downloading. And uh, once it's done, I can just click on it, and it's going to open up. It gives you the date, the title, slide one narrator, the speaker, uh, if the speaker was available. Uh, and the reason is because uh, I've set uh, the time stamps to be included and the speaker tags. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and here's your transcript. I think I already like it. Hmm. Let's say we want to convert this into a subtitle. Let's just uh, go back uh, so that we can do that. Let's say we wanted to make this a subtitle. Uh, if you want to make it a subtitle, do you really need to start uploading afresh? Hmm. Let's go back. Let's see if there's option, an option to, to do that. Export. Hmm. I wish uh, it's possible to just, uh, it's possible to just convert this straight on from here to subtitle. Hmm. So you can hide that but you can't convert it to a subtitle. But let's say subtitle. I wish that this automatically uh, added the uh, file we just worked on. Let's just go to new subtitle. Let's just uh, drag and drop the audio again. Let's drop it. Uh, so uh, there we have our audio. And there's a bunch of options here. You can select the audio language. Uh, the in it's in English. And if you want to translate captions to other languages, you can select the target language uh, right from here and select what you want to translate it to. Uh, let's say we just test out Arabic. So at the moment, I think it only supports one option here. Uh, but let's say we don't want to translate at the moment. Use, use custom dictionary, submit automatically once uploaded. 
I will upload my own SRT subtitles. I don't think we want to upload that. Let's just submit and it's processing. Let's wait and see what is going to happen. It's transcribing. It's done. Let's just click on another file. Uh, and by default, this is what we get. Looks pretty neat for me. So here we go. Uh, I think I already like uh, the interface itself. It looks pretty good. So we can say uh, if we play, uh, the actually the player has a character, uh, a characters per line, 32, and then uh, number of lines two is the option here, which is pretty awesome. Let's just play. Hello there. Welcome to lesson 4A. Let's say we need to to change this to 4A. 4A. Medicare Medicare supplement plans. Welcome to lesson 4A. Medicare supplement plans also known as Medigap plans. In this lesson, we... Let's just uh, go back to home, capital I. Let's make do a comma here. And then make this a small letter, W, in this lesson. We will review the basics of Medigap plans that you learned today in class. Let's put a full stop at the end of class. And then we go. We will review the basics of Medigap plans that you learned today in class. At the end of our course, there will be. Let's just capitalize at shift A. At the end of our course, there will be a short quiz. Are you ready? Great. Let's get started. That's pretty awesome. Looks good. Uh, uh, it's good to have the characters per second. It's also good to have the characters per line. This is pretty awesome. Uh, and it seems that uh, it's, it, it's, it's producing uh, an excellent subtitle, especially if you're working with a video. So uh, the translations, you can actually add a translate or even import ready-made subtitles if you wanted to use uh, the option to burn in subtitles to your video. Now, once you create your subtitles, uh, you can either embed. So we'll have an embeddable player uh, using this and you can embed this on WordPress and all that allows you to share and display videos on your own blog or website with subtitle or voiceover options. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, you can get uh, the particular option that you want. Then you can share uh, to the different email addresses and then you can export uh, the options available uh, for export at the time of recording this video. When it comes to the subtitle, is a Subrib, Scenarist, Cheetah, WebVTT, EBUSTL. And then we have the option for the video, download video with English subtitles. This is uh, potentially where they're going to permanently ban in the subtitles to a video. And then there's the option for transcript. So this is what I was mentioning with the transcription interface. I wish they also include this particular interface uh, of getting uh, the particular uh, subtitle option and even the voiceover. So uh, let's say we just want to export our subtitle as a subrip. Just click on that. It's going to automatically uh, prepare it and it's ready. Just click on it. It's going to automatically download uh, uh, to your browser. And uh, if I open it, there it is. Hello there. Welcome to Lesson 4A Medicare Supplement Plans, also known as Medica Plans. Pretty awesome. I think I like it. And the way it's displaying uh, the text as two line, uh, even if uh, uh, when you look at it from this particular interface, uh, you'll see it's like almost uh, uh, a one-liner. It's going to be a two-line, uh, here we go, a two-line due to the characters uh, per line set. And uh, it seems like we're having 13, 13 to a maximum of about 17 characters per line. So that's awesome. I think I already like that option. Now, let's convert this particular voiceover into a different language. So we just need to click on convert to voiceover operation this operation will cost one minute convert only members with edit access can synthesize audio edit speaker voices speaker one uh-huh so this is pretty awesome uh, let's just say edit speaker voices let's say we want uh brian with british to redo this particular uh, audio. Let's preview his voice. Hello there. Hmm. 
right, let's just uh, check out Justin US. Hello there. Hmm. Uh, Emma British. Hello there. Hmm. Uh, let's just go with an American voice and see. Let's say uh, Joanna US preview. Hello there. Let's just say save. Uh, but basically you can uh, feel that this is synthesized and then click on synthesize audio. So it's changed this into Joanna. So uh, let's uh, let us just go back to the start. Let's scroll down. All voices have been changed. Let's just play. Hello there. Welcome, Welcome to, to Lesson 4A Medicare, Medicare supplement, supplement plans, also known as Medigap plans. Now we can just drop the volume for the speaker, the source volume down and uh, to listen through. In this lesson, we will review the basics of Medigap plans that you learned today in class. At the end of our course, there will be a short quiz. Are you ready? Great. Let's get started. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Although we can all feel that uh, the audio is synthesized, but there are people that speak like that. So it can still work for the purposes that you want it to work. So basically, this is a quick video on how to automatically transcribe caption or automatically create voiceovers for your videos from ready captions and transcripts using Maestra. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been of value to you. Kindly like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll appreciate if you use the link below to sign up for Maestra. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe.